TFNN. Headline News Update. Testing one. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Thursday edition, August the 26th. Uh, this is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. update. You've got the Dow up 34. A couple of stocks are helping a lot. Uh, up 34 at 35,439. Dow just needs to get to 35,632, and that's an all-time high. Will it play catch-up? And I'll talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. Uh, will it play catch-up to the NDX? That's the NDX 100, the QQQ series, uh, all-time high, and the S&P making all-time highs. It's been lagging. Will IWM do that? We'll talk about that when I get back, and let's look at the S&P. S&P is trading right now down about five and a half at 44.90. Made an all-time high yesterday. Uh, it's up in the higher region. The MACD is good. Stochastics at 90%. All of that's very good. And my contention is that until you get a very strong double-digit S&P futures down early in the morning with the rallies that are attempted, and then they close at those lows of the day with a Dow triple digit down and bad news in, uh, evolving to be able to give a dark cloud cover to the market. It's usually a bias, slightly upside bias. Let's go to the QQQ123. There we go. All time high yesterday, a little bit under it. 374, uh, down 80 cents. Uh, the big thing is is this a leg C? Will there be a D to come? I think so. We're looking at the IWM that had played. Uh, catch up is holding quite nicely. It's at 222. Really needs to get to the 225.70, 226.20 area in the next couple of days. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, you've got gold. Gold is down today, down to its 1788, just stuck in this range. It's this is going to be very important. I'll talk about that as well when we get back because gold um, had a really strong rebound from the very sharp fall. And now it's kind of stuck. And I think stuck is the way that we've got to look at it and just say it's 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 tradable, but in a range, in a, in a small range. Uh, uh, crude oil is trying to rally off the low of the 200-period moving average. It's at 67. It needs to get to 69.50, 70.30 in the continuous contract to really show that it's got legs to the upside. TLT is something we also need to talk about. And the TLT is down, so yields are rallying. Basil Chapman, be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour and check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Have a great day. Otherwise, I'll see you in a few minutes. Hope you're there.